Skip that quest Michael Maldonado? V. Hand said you needed a... a hand. So. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Well, I did want to watch this broken arcade. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless we talking? My son. It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs it's a motorcycle so repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxis, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an exemplar. That's where you come in. First things first. This DA, Zembinski. What's her deal? She's as crooked as they come. Like everyone else in Night City. Zembinski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric in bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. Zimbinski forced you to testify. How exactly? At first, she seemed nice. We were sitting, having a normal conversation. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened the worst for Eric. Then they put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. <laughs> Just go talk to her. You know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. he be eaten alive in prison. Not if I have anything to say about it. Can find her. Have ourselves a little chat. <sighs> That's a relief. No hands would endorse me some bush nigger. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for a heart to heart. <laughs> Holy shit. It makes no fucking sense. No. Okay. Sorry. Chill, chill, Wasn't chill. That hard, hmm? Oh, you fucking ass. You. Fucking ass. Where 
it was not hard at all. Motherfuckers. I said I'll sign everything. I think he's a little bit drunk. Stop chasing me! Sexual harassment! <laughs> Leave me alone! Now be my guest! <laughs> yeah, yeah, choke on you! Oh, why am I in combat? Where the fuck is the entrance? Oh crap. <coughs> no, Springer, no, Springer. I'm supposed to remember who that is, of course. I do not. Like for fuck's sake, it's not showing me where the entrance is. Come on, render man. Crash! Crash! No? Yes? Crash?
lot of hustle around. Got big guests in from the city? Mm-hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Looking for a customer of yours? D.A. Georgina Zimbinski. Know her? Can't say I do. But if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though. And him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay. Thanks. What's good? Looking for something? Jack, right? Heard you're cozy with them gilded folk upstairs. Need a word with a certain dame. Oh, have you now? Well then, ask away. Georgina Zimbinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked though. You do that? Oh, slow down. Times it is an older jazz. Do you what I'm saying? Okay, let's see. Show me. Interested or not? There. Don't make me regret it. Hey, no risk, no reward, right? Hey, baby, I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's smoothing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Zempinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Let go of me! What gives you the right? You're done here. Finished. I'll make damn sure of it. What happened? The hell does it look like? Shit bags threw me out of VIP. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. They're gonna throw me out? Me? Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology, at least. You some kind of shrink now? Words for me is all I'm saying. Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Because I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink!
you. He said boot four. Well, this didn't go well.
Well, that's an <coughs> interesting logo. Back off now. Sacristan, we'll need something incriminating. We're working on it. Boys are putting together a testimony. Some witness might not feel the deal. That's why I have some more meetings to up today. And me? You'll hit the stacks. Make contact with Esteban. Passing you the location and some operational funds. Go there, do this. And you are? Georgina Zimbinski. Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to... That cowardly two-faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? Your goon here forced Mike Maldonado to testify. I think she means you, Hank. Did you do any shock therapy on Mr. Maldonado recently? 
Yeah, like I don't got better things to do. Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. Who's Hector Sacristan? One of the Valentino's top men. Narco millionaire, serial murderer. Two years I've been after him. Eric Maldonado, he's the last domino. But if I want to use him, I need him behind bars. It's Mike's word against yours. Unlike mine, his is worthless. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course, I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Sure, I guess. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During a conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. I, 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 I think you shouldn't have said that. <clears throat> so there are no consequences, really? Fine, deal. Don't trust you, but that goes double for Mike. And done. Testimony's anonymous now. Your client can sleep easy. Ah, well then, everyone wins. Except for Eric, of course. Long as my client's happy. Well, they are going against the... Yeah, after this one, I, I'm coming. They fucking zero him. Finally gonna get a good night's sleep. Spoke to the DA. Scrubbed your name and data from your testimony. Wait, what? Well, that's not what... She was supposed to delete it. Forget about your payment. This wasn't part of the deal. We both know not in any of that scratch is yours, Mikey. So? What did that bitch say? Everything and more. But don't fret. Your secret's safe with me. My silence, on the other hand, doesn't come cheap. Shut up and pay. I... Tired of just looking at you. Just... Just go. Discretion. In my book, that's of utmost importance. 